Hello, it's Joe with another theory short. You know, this one is really related to the first concept of let your fun hand have fun. And what I mean by that is, what is the role of your hands? All right, this hand determines what tones come from the guitar, and it's attached to the ear. If you make a mistake, you'll offend somebody's ear. Most people don't hear it, but that's the worst thing that can happen. The other hand, your strumming hand, doesn't even need that hand, does it? You can muffle and create a nice little rhythm. And what happens when you do it? Your foot starts tapping. You know why that is? It's because this hand is attached to the foot. And if you stop, the foot stops. If the foot stops, the music is gone and you're making somebody listen to you practice. So the bottom line is keep this hand strumming and let it have fun. Anytime you are white knuckled or you're not breathing, it's because you're trying to make this hand do what you want it to and that's what the practice sessions were for. Because you can't use language fast enough to tell this hand what to do. But you can tell this hand and I frequently do. Try it. Bye-bye. Okay, a quick tip on how to stop thinking about this hand so much. Start thinking of the tones as coming from your strumming hand. So once again, it doesn't need language, so you're not impeding its ability to keep the tempo. But when you start thinking of the tones as also coming from this hand, your brain starts thinking of the tones as the combination of the two and it starts doing wonderful things without you thinking about it so it's just a little tip try it it takes a little bit of time like very little bit of time and once you start noticing the tones is coming from this hand you'll start seeing that you target pick or pluck in a way that is what you wanted to have happen. You're welcome. Bye-bye.